Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome to the internet. So, long time no see. I am back on this channel filming videos again, and I feel so happy about it. So, I'm doing a little bit of catching up today, so if you see this hair slash outfit in a couple of videos, that is why. So today, I'm going to be putting up my October favorites for you guys because it is now November, 2014 is almost over, and I have some things that I want to share with all of you. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with uh, things from Lush. I've been on a bit of a Lush kick this month because they have all of their holiday stuff now and I am so excited. So one of the things is their holiday bath bombs. I have a couple of them in my bathroom that I have on display but I wanted to show you this one that I picked up for Christmas. This is the Santa face one. I'm forgetting the name. I'll link it down below. But look at how cute it is. Oh I'm so obsessed with this. It's kind of cracking in a couple of places but oh Mm, it smells so good. It smells like kind of spicy and like, oh, it smells so good. It has that like, I've told you guys before, I'm terrible like telling you how things smell, but Lush stuff always kind of smells a little bit the same to me, just very fresh and like spicy and I don't know. I love the smell of it and it's getting dust all over my bed. So yes, I love that. I used up quite a few of them, but um, yeah, I still have some left in my bathroom that I have been holding off using because I want to wait till it's a little bit closer to Christmas. Okay, the next thing that I've been obsessed with for the month of October is another product from Lush, and this is one of their, what is this called? I think it's the Body Butters. I can't remember. Again, I'm going to link the names down below. I should have, like, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of their body butters, um, or their, their body things. It's like the solid lotion. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay. Good. So yeah, this is one of theirs. This is uh, from Lush as well, too, and it's one of their solid lotions. What you do is you rub this in between your hands and like get it like melted, kind of, and it turns into an oil, and then you can rub it into your skin, and it's super moisturizing. It leaves kind of a greasy finish, so I tend to do this when I get out of the shower, but oh, the smell of this is so good. It smells just wonderful, and I love the smell of it, and it's super moisturizing like I said and I've been using it a ton this month. Alright, as for makeup, I have a few makeup favorites this month. Um, one of which is this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Erasing Primer. I've been on a big priming kick, primer kick this month and this is one of the ones that I've really been liking. This was really big a couple months back when it launched in the unit in the US and I've had it and I've actually used up quite a bit if you guys can see it's almost like squished down now. Um, I still have a little bit left but yeah to use up. It's just a silicone primer. It's clear if you guys can see. Um, yeah, just like a like a clear silicone primer. Fills in your pores, helps you make it last longer. It's not my, f like, best primer that I have, but it's the one I've been reaching for a lot this month, and I've noticed it has made a difference under my makeup, so really like that. Now I have greasy primer all over my hands. Um, okay, and then speaking of face stuff as well, this is another product from Lush that I forgot I had to. This is the Gorgeous Facial Moisturizer, and this was a little sample that they gave me when I was checking out a couple weeks ago. And this stuff is awesome. It's a super rich facial moisturizer, as the title says. And it's a super, I don't know, the only thing that I, it's super rich, but the only thing that I don't like about this is the smell. It legitimately smells like dirt, and I do not like that. So if the smell was, like, not the smell, I would probably repurchase this. I probably won't repurchase this, but I've been using it a lot this month and I do like the way it's made my skin feel very soft and supple, so I have been liking this. Just the smell of it is too much for me. Next makeup favorite that I've been loving this month has been this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And this stuff, I don't know if I had it in another favorite or not, but I've been using this so much this month. It's not even funny. This stuff is just a liquid highlight and it is the most gorgeous. Oh, it is so 
Okay, my phone cut out on me. Thank you, phone. Um, but yeah, this is the highlighter. It's this, like, can you guys see the reflectiveness? Oh, it is so pretty. It's just this, like, gorgeous champagne -y color. I love it so much. So yeah, that's been, like, a favorite, favorite this month. Ooh. No, I'm all... Okay, as far as lips go, I have a couple of things that I have been loving this month, two in particular, both of which are nudes, darker nudes. This first one is from the Rimmel Kate, La Kate Moss line, and it is in the shade 14, and it is just this darker nude color, if you guys can see, and I have been wearing this a lot this month. It's a really pretty, just kind of dark, mauve nude color, kind of reminds me of like the Kylie Jenner lip. That is what it looks like, and it's just a really, like, moisturizing, darker nude color, so I've been wearing that. The second one is from the new Maybelline Matte Collection, and this is in 250 Nude Embrace, and this is also kind of a darker, this is a more brown nude color, but it's still, like, a really pretty color. Let me show you guys uh, that one. Uh, I'm putting it on top of the primer. Hang on. Okay, yeah, so this is the Maybelline one. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more, it's a lot lighter actually than the Rimmel one, but it's still a really pretty color. So yeah, I've been wearing that a lot as well. Okay, and the last thing as far as makeup goes is this new, I hadn't actually seen this before. I picked this up at Target. I hadn't seen it before I picked it up, but this is the Maybelline uh, Crunch, Crunch, Maybelline Clump Crusher Extensions from Lash Blast, and I hadn't seen this before. So it's the Clump Crusher line, but it's part of their now extensions line, so it's supposed to be more lengthening and more volumizing. And it has this like spidery silicone brush that's kind of curved, and I really like it. It doesn't clump my lashes, it keeps them long and full, and I like it. It's not like over the top amazing but for a drugstore mascara that you know I kind of picked up because I needed a new one it works pretty well okay and now for random favorites this month uh, Halloween just passed and Halloween was amazing I had some of my friends come up from San Diego to visit oh something in my eye um, to visit Brett and I and it was so fun we went to um, a couple of different things up in LA and did some fun stuff I'll insert a picture somewhere of my costume around here so you guys can see that picture um so yeah that was really fun and what else happened this month um yeah October was just a pretty quick month it went by really fast I was surprised so I enjoyed it a lot even though it went by pretty quick and I can't believe it's already November oh my goodness where has this year gone? I mean, really. <laughs> okay, and the last thing that I have for you guys to talk about this month is my book recommendation, which is this one. I picked this up from the library, and it is... Hang on, I want to make sure. Well, yeah, hang on. Okay, I just want to make sure you guys can't, like, come find me. So this is the book called Clarity by Kim Harrington. And it is about a girl, it kind of reminds me of The Body Finder. If you guys have ever read that book before, that series, it kind of reminds me of that. Because um, it's about this girl named Claire, Clarity, and she can, um, she's telepathic, so she kind of can use her abilities to, like, help solve this murder, and, like, all this stuff that happens with her and her ex-boyfriend, and it's like, I don't know, it's pretty good, like, I really like it, and it definitely reminded me of The Body Finder, so if you like The Body Finder, you'll definitely like this book, because it's kind of the same idea, using her abilities to, like, help with this, like, murder and all of this stuff, so, yes, I really like it, and I think you all should read it. So if you guys want me to do a review on this book or any others, uh, please leave it down in the comments below for me so I can check it out and let you guys know what I think and do a book review here on my channel for you guys if that's something you want to see from me. But other than that, that is all that I have for you guys for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more of my face and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!